Oh, here we are, freaking right here at the Freakers Ball. Once again, it's Friday night, May 1st, 2020. Mayday! Mayday! Yes, Mayday indeed. There's uh, there's problems going on, man. There's problems going on out there in the world. Uh, yeah, so it's a Mayday. And it's it's the kind of Mayday where you're calling for help. Help! <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the show. This is the Freakers Ball, live right here on RealLibertyMedia.com and RLMRadio.xyz and, well, other places that audio stream goes out to. And it does go out there to various places. Uh, we we're out there on RealLiberty.org and FreedomsNetwork.com. We're on TuneIn as well. And uh, the, the video stream, though, that's the one you want to be on, the video stream for tonight, is right here live on the Freakers Ball show page on reallibertymedia.com, and also on vaughn.live slash reallibertymedia. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, no, we do not go to Pornhub yet. <laughs> All right. Well, Moose Girl will be calling in momentarily, I would imagine. She was just here in the chat a moment ago, so I would assume she'll be coming along and uh, joining me here on the on the audio radio stream thingy, Bob. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what it takes to get on Pornhub. I, I've, I've never looked over there. Uh, I, I have other porn sites that I, that I prefer. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, hopefully you're all doing well out there, uh, in the, the magic world of lockdown, lock up. Moose, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't answer that for you, free enslaved. Anyway, so you uh, hi to all the folks that are out there in those various other sites, but most of all, welcome to all the folks right here in the chat, which if you're out there listening and you're not here in the chat, come on over. You can get there on rlmradio.xyz or reallibertymedia.com, or uh, if you have your own IRC client, that's that's really your best way. Uh, you just connect on up to free uh, node. Uh, this lot, hey, JJ's, I wholeheartedly support you and your broadcasting efforts as well. I got a message there on the Twitter I was responding to from JJ's, the magic JJ's over there in Scotland. But anyway, hi and howdy to all the folks that are here in the chat. Uh, we got the barman and the beetle. Beetle, are you awake still? Probably not. Cowboy Tech is here with us tonight, uh, myself and the moose girl, the lovely Miss Kate is here as well. I, I, I see this thing ringing, but I'm not hearing it for some reason. Oh, there's a problem. Wire is maybe not able to connect. Vaughn just died. Am I losing am I losing connection here? Uh yeah, I'm losing connection. Something is wrong possibly. Something is wrong possibly. Oh wait, it's coming back, it's coming back. <laughs> you know, Comcast has been uh Comcast has not been good for me lately. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So XYZ dropped, but it should be back as well. Every, everything dropped. My, my signal, my, my internet fell off, the, fell off the chart there. But everything should be back now. As far as I can tell, everything looks like it's going. So uh, let me call the moose, and, and we'll see if we can get her in that way. Uh, every, everything fell right when moose called. I don't say it was moose that caused the problem, because I would certainly disagree with that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're here. We're here. You there? I'm here. Hooray! We got it back. I don't know what happened. The uh, Internet dropped off for a second there. Huh. Eh, okay. Whatever, whatever. That shit happens. Um, yes, it does. Especially these days. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, oh my gosh. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, let me finish the roll call here. Um, okay. <laughs> so, we got Miss Kate, Manta, and Asmodeus Asmo, the duh, man, duh, the neighbor. <laughs> for, My for, neighbor. Yes, yeah, your neighbor, the neighbor. Uh, free and slave. Mm -hmm. How you doing, free man? Uh, Frumpy, the frumpster, uh, Java Doctor, uh, Hansel. Hey, J. Dread, how are you doing? I hope you enjoyed that brownie. It uh, may take you to places you didn't expect. Uh, we got Meister, Meister Brown and Prince and uh, well, Prince who did his uh, who's doing his show tomorrow night. That's right. Uh, yeah, they're Saturday now. Yep, tomorrow. Yep, yep. yep. We got Rob Works, Mister Rob Works, and the Mighty Bubba. There it is. There's that Mighty Bubba. We got Trust No One, aka Roams or Darth Roams or whatever you want to call him. The Weather Dork and Vanna Whitebots, the Phantom 
Uh, CC66, Choskara, Miss Chloe, how you doing there, Chloe? Uh, sa 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 noodle, the Saborgian noodle. Yep, and, um, Dad? <laughs> hey, Dad! <laughs> Who's Dad? I don't, I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. We got email at M7 Grumman, and Matt, Matty, Matt WJ, uh, Pone Sauce, and Quasimodo. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard that bell ringing, man. Are you slacking on your job there? Sock Puppet, hey, Sockster, the Holy of Rogers, Mr. Vin E. Glad to see you here with us, Vinny, on a Friday night. You know, it's uh, we, we, we've been missing you around here. Well, some of us have. <laughs> and Zippix, who uh, just he's been he's been uh, filling in some blank air. Well, not blank air, but uh, a replay air. Playing uh, tunes, yeah. yeah, playing playing tunes in the replay area. So we 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 really appreciate that here. Uh, yeah, it's cool, man. You know, it's a little something a little different for the for the folk. And uh, I, I, don't, right. I, I don't get to listen in all that often, but because, uh, uh, well, I'm doing stuff at that time of night when you're coming on, so. Right. Yeah, so. But I, but I, I hear a few bits, a few bits here and there, so uh, it's cool, man. It's cool. Um, what else? Don't know. I don't know either. Okay. I'm burning sage. Cool. White sage? White sage, baby. Bundled? No, well, it's I got it in a bundle, but I pick some off. Oh, okay. I pick it. I don't burn the whole bundle at one time. Right. Well, I think I think the whole world, the whole world at this point could use um, a big smudging, massive smudging. Oh, definitely. Around oh, the entire planet, the planet needs to be smudged in a serious way. We're, we're, uh, big time. Uh, not just not just for the spiritual effect, but for the uh, health effects that that smudging does carry with it. Definitely. Uh, and, and, and kinky. <laughs> no, it's not by purpose. No, no, no. You'll just look it up, Zippix. Uh, their uh, smudging is a is, is a beneficial thing. So uh, yeah, if I do get around to planting stuff this year, I've purchased uh, 750 white sage seeds all right so uh, awesome but i got i got a lot of i got a lot of dirt work to do uh, get that soil up to spec so uh, and i haven't right, done it i haven't right. done i haven't even I, i've done some you know maintenance you know as far as like lawn and weeds and stuff like that but uh, okay i haven't i haven't done any uh, i haven't been out there do, doing the uh doing the uh gardening stuff yet so we'll see if i have it's not, it's not even it's not even mother's day yet that doesn't come for another week so, right and that's that's really planting season trimming the bushes <laughs> 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 you betcha you bet. well i actually i haven't done that for a while either a long while actually <laughs> <laughs> Vinny is doing the gardening. He's he's a he's a regular farmer, regular rancher. Hillbilly well, farmer. Hillbilly farmer growing growing his, his gourds and cucumbers. I don't know what the hell he's growing. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, hopefully. God, hopefully. So uh, yeah. Anyway, um, how's your week been? Uh, it's been okay. Um, I survived it. Yeah, good, good. That's good. So, uh, yeah, I'm hanging in there, you know. Um, had to jump through some hoops for my unemployment claim. Well, I would like to see a, a, a film of that. <laughs> Hang on a second. You what? I said, I said I would like to see a film, a video of that. Of uh, the jumping through hoops? Yeah, yeah, you jumping through hoops. Yeah, I mean, that figuratively, would... not literally. Well... <laughs> anyway, so did you finally get it? I finally, well, I had to find all my check stubs, and I had to um, make photocopies, which I, it was a problem because I don't have a copier or a printer. So it was a pain in the butt, kind of. So I went to Digicopy today. It's like Kinko's or whatever. Yeah. And the guy was kind of busy. Seemed kind of mad at me, 
kind of irritated. I'm like, are you backed up? He's like, oh, a little bit. He's like, I'll, I'll do it as fast as I can. I'm like, okay. He did it right <laughs> away because he came out like three minutes later. Okay. But you were, so, you were interrupting his flow. No, I must have been because I guess normally people like send them files digitally, you know? Yeah. But you can also walk in there and have them make copies. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was only like five pages or something. You know what I mean? Right, right. So um, got that done. Now I have to mail that in. So my unemployment thing is all messed up because they had an employer on there that did I did not work for. Ah, yeah, right. You said about that in the chat there. And I don't know how this happens, but it did. So it's going to be delayed, but that's okay. I mean, um, I'm I'm okay. I got the stimulus check. I got my last check from work this week. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, those uh, those uh, governmental computer systems are very unforgiving. Yes, um, I mean I, I couldn't. Uh, it was I, well, yeah, you, you can't call them. No. Because you can't get through. Anyway, I, I haven't I haven't gotten my my thing yet. You know, I, I sent that that tax form thing in, but I, I every there's no like reply or response. You did oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. That's been like over a month ago. Whatever. Um, uh, and 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 so today I went on to the the uh, IRS website there. Yeah, to get my payment thing. Yeah, or where is my the, payment the, the, or whatever? The, there's a page for non-filers on there. Oh, okay. Okay. And so I fill out the thing there. Uh huh. And then they they send me a thing say, okay, we got it. And then they, about half hour later, they send me another thing that says, well, it was rejected. And here's uh -huh. here do search on you know you, you just paste your email into the search thing and it says these are the problems. Uh, and apparently, uh -huh. if there's a space that they want blank and you put a zero in it, yeah. that that's that's no bueno. Um, oh, good cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, so anyway, I went through it like six times. Which okay. is a pain in the ass because every time you got to wait a half hour for them to send you a response saying it's no good. Oh, geez. And okay. finally, I say they, they won't let you do it with absolutely zero income. So I had to I put a dollar under some uh, <laughs> uh, interest. Side. Like right. I said, I got a dollar in interest, which of course I oh, did. Okay. Nobody sent me right. a dollar in interest. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then they finally accepted it. So I, I guess it's in there. Anyway, if if you have right. if you want that. That stolen twelve hundred dollars, um, you have to file before Tuesday or before or on Tuesday. Um, yep. In, in order to get it, that's what they're saying by the by single de mile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I want, you know they they're already gonna you know jack up the prices and everything because of the devaluation of the dollar. Right. And, it's, that's gonna happen. Oh yeah, no, it, it, absolutely. Yeah. There's gonna be inflation and hyperinflation, and they're gonna oh, raise time. they're gonna raise taxes through the roof on everything. Yep. That's, but they have to. They, that's the only way they'll be able to, quote unquote, fix this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfixable. Yeah, it's going to be nuts. Yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what, the, what where it's going to go or what it's going to do, but I don't either. Uh, it yeah. remains to be seen for yeah, sure. <laughs> absolutely, Vinny. Sp spend all your cash fast, convert it into something Just tangible. Get it and buy weed or buy something with cash with it. You know, buy, buy something tangible that you can use as as a barter. Buy a generator. Yeah, buy yeah, gas. Yeah. Something, something buy like ammo, that. Buy a gun. Buy, well, I don't think you, you can buy a gun right now. Well, I think you can still yeah, have a oh, yeah. so. Well, uh, at least in New Mexico you can buy a gun. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure you can here, too. Yeah, it's state by state, different states. or st Sometimes right. city by city, but uh, whatever. Because, like, Walmart sells them, Farm and Fleet sells them. You know, um, you can still get that stuff. Okay, I see. So, I see that uh, Zipix was asking me there in the chat if mm -hmm. I use a VCR or a Betamax. Um, <laughs> I've, I've personally never owned a Betamax. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of Sony. What are you saying? Are we? Are you asking if we're old? I, I, are you, I, I, are I, you I, I'm not a big fan of Sony in the first place or any proprietary um, equipment of any time. I still do have a VCR. <laughs> Deck. It's a VCR to DVD dub machine, so I still oh, have I, I still have that. 
Uh, I haven't used it in 10 years, but um, I, I, I did I did uh, make some uh, DVD dubs of, of my uh, some Your cer- videos. certain videos. Yeah, it's easy. That's cool. Yeah. But uh, mostly uh, everything is uh, digital now. Everything's digital. Uh, whatever whatever format that may be, I don't really even use DVDs anymore. Um, yeah, so. I mean it, it'll be fine. My, uh, I mean it'll be delayed my unemployment claim, but that's because they screwed it up. I didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, he want to know about you because you're you're jumping through the hoops. Jumping right? through the hoops, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. sure my kids. Well, my kids have actually seen that. And 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 I would I would take that in a digital download if you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get right on that. <laughs> All right. Maybe you can make them flaming, flaming hoops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not at the fl- the fire of spinning yet. Uh, I, I would have to practice that. So yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start off with some music here. We got some okay. Music, we got some music for you. And and what were you what were you up to last night? Did you do anything well, last night? Not really. Did you did you hit the the pipe? I did. I did. Did, 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 did you have any? I did al- do that did, definitely. <laughs> did, 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 did you did you have any alcohol? I did. I had a few brewskis. Yep. Okay. You bet. Cool. <laughs> well, this song's for you then. All right. This is uh, good. This is Big Hands Rhythm and Blues Band. All right then. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's your plan for tomorrow? Are you a leader or will you follow? Yes, take back the power. That is the end. She's kerosene. The interrupters they are featuring Amy Allen. Yeah, baby. I before that, Billy Strings uh, doing a song called Home uh, for the Mighty Miss Girl there. Uh, nice, cool video. And we kicked it off there with Big Hands at Rhythm and Blues Band. Uh, from Ropa Dope Records, uh, I got loaded. <laughs> Did you get loaded? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Moose, are you there? Are you with me? Uh, are we disconnected? Yeah, you're playing. Take back the power. Uh, oh, the power. I'm hour. here. Oh, that's right. Zippix will be doing the power hour tomorrow. The power, yeah. How he's going to take back the power hour. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, so were you dancing to I Got Loaded? Uh yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> Just say yes, yeah, that's good. Enough. <laughs> um Okay, so I've been noticing that since this all this shit started with the coronavirus and the lockdowns and everything. Uh huh. People are over calling the cops. I think I talked about this last week. Yeah. But it's getting worse. And people are calling the cops on their neighbors and on other people for the stupidest shit. Like, you wouldn't believe it. Well, let me just say this. If you call the cops yeah. once, you're over calling the cops. Right. Once, ever, for anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean. I, I'm on this page on Facebook. It's the Eau Claire S- City County Police Scanner page. Yeah. And some of the stuff people are calling about, it's absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> I mean, come on now. <clears throat> I mean, playing music too loud, which, okay, you know, I get it. Yeah, sure, sure. But... It's like dogs barking, and dogs are going to bark, people are going to let off fireworks, people, you know. Right. Yeah. Like, people are freaking out. I'm seriously, people are freaking out. See there, there's good, that's a good message from Raw Works Center. Warning! I see that. Calling 911 can be, it's probably going to be, hazardous to your health. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean. And especially if you have a dog, well, sorry dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So anyway, it's just I've it's just something I've noticed and I've also noticed people are driving like shit. Okay. Everywhere because there's hardly any cars out there, so they think they can just drive like shit now. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's like just because of the lockdown doesn't mean 
you have to drive like shit now. Right. So anyway, it's just it's just getting old. It's getting bizarre. Every day, it gets bizarre. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. Um, oh yeah. I did. I did see. Oh, super fun. I did see that this article from intellectualtakeout.org. Okay. April 29, 2020. The headline is COVID-19 lockdowns may destroy our immune systems. Say it again. Uh, COVID-19 lockdowns may destroy our immune systems. Oh, yeah, yeah. So in a recent interview, two immunology doctors, former emergency room physician Daniel Erickson and his partner at a California urgent care, Dr. Artin Massa, I don't know, Massi, I don't know how to say it. Massa? Challenge us, it looks like that's how it is, but it's M-A-S-S-I-H. Anyway, challenge us to consider the possibility that draconian lockdowns are counterproductive. Without exposure to pathogens, we cannot build a healthy immune system. Right. So, um, <clears throat> the immune system is built by exposure to antigens, viruses, bacteria. When you're a little child crawling on the ground, putting stuff in your mouth, viruses and bacteria come in. You form an antigen antibody complex. You form IgG, IgM. This is how your immune system is built. You don't take a small child, put them in bubble wrap in a room, and say, go have a healthy immune system. <laughs> This is Immunology Microbiology 101. This is the basis of what we've known for years. When you take human beings and you say, go into your house, clean out your counters, lice all them down, you're going to kill 99% of viruses and bacteria, wear a mask, don't go outside, what does it do to our immune system? Our immune system is used to touching. We share bacteria. Staphylococcus, streptococcal bacteria viruses. Erickson and the other doctor's name are alarmed at the unintended consequences of a pr prolonged lockdown. Yeah. Sheltering in place decreases your immune system. And then as we all come out of, out of shelter in place with a lower immune system and start trading viruses, bacteria, what do you think is going to happen? Disease is going to spike. And when you've got diseases spike amongst the hospital system with furloughed doctors and nurses, this is not, not the combination we want to set up for a healthy society. It doesn't make any sense. Right. So, let's see, the spiritual level. Um, blah, 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 lobsters. We don't want to read about that. But anyway, uh, I'll post the article in the chat room. And okay. I already knew all this stuff. I mean, yeah, well, I had kids. Yeah, you know, I did yeah, not yeah, shelter them from cold, getting cold. You can't. They went to daycare and everything. You know how often my kids were sick with colds and stuff like that? A lot. Right. But they were building their immune system at the exactly. same time. Well, you know, most of us here are old enough to uh, have um, played in the dirt. <laughs> right. Scra I played in the dirt. Scraped our knees, banged our heads, broke a bone. Yes. Uh, right. I, I had all the various childhood diseases. Uh, that that they now vaccinate against. So make sure you never, uh, yeah, right. yeah. But most of us are, are old enough. Uh, the ones coming up now, they're 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 never going to have that, and they're going to be sickly their entire life. Uh, I've they're, seen they're, it happen where these old overprotective mothers. That, mm -hmm. Okay, my kids were sick, not a, a ton though. I mean, they had the normal stuff. You know, they weren't like hospitalized. They weren't a lot. They, you know what I mean? Like. They never were hospitalized, like, overnight, except for having ear tubes put in. Right. One time. Other than that, you know, they were, I let them be exposed to all this crap. You know, right. I wasn't one of right. these, hella, you know, these overprotective, I mean, there's a point where you have to be protective, right. But overprotective, trying to keep them away from germs, you're not going to be able to do it. No. No matter how much you try. Because exactly. kids like to put shit in their mouth all the time <laughs> when they're at a certain age. And you can't control it. Yeah. You, oh, yeah. you just can't. And so it's a good thing for kids to be exposed to bacteria and virus, and even all of us. Oh, right. Because sure. we have immune systems for a reason. You, it would be dumb to lower your immune system, lower the ability of your immune system. So, 
you know, this comes down to basic common sense. Take care of yourself, you know. Yeah. And don't be so paranoid. Don't people be. People are acting like, yeah, people are acting like viruses and bacteria and stuff like that didn't exist before all this. Right. It's like, hello, it did. If, if, you know? if this thing even is real. Right. Yeah. I mean, how many people die from the flu every year? Uh, 80,000 or something somewhere, like that? Somewhere, yeah, somewhere in there. I mean... A lot. That's a lot of people. That's yeah. more than how many have died from this thing. Well, and how, how many that have died from this thing have actually died from the flu and been but attributed... they called it COVID, yeah, right. Yeah, they they, called they it, attributed they, it to this thing. That's what they've been doing. They've been falsifying the death certificates. Right. Which, what does that tell you? Okay, it, 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 you know, like we were talking about in chat this week, and I've made the comment before, like, you you didn't believe them before this. You exactly. knew they were lying to you before this. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, all these people are like, oh, yeah, no, they're being real with us now. Uh -huh. It's like, hello? Even Trump is off a of lockdown, okay? Yeah. He's like, I'm done. I'm going to go to fly to Camp David tomorrow. Right. Like, I've been on a lockdown for 32 days. I'm done. Well, if it's good enough for him, guess what? <laughs> it's good enough for the rest well, of us. Well, he had, he had a, uh, a national guideline set up, which expired, right. which expired yesterday. Yeah. And, and so that guideline's gone. So now it's all on your local authority yep. uh, to, to say or do whatever. And, and uh, depending on where you live and uh, what kind of people are there, um, uh, they're they're gonna either let you go and do your about your business, or they're not. And uh, right. And, and most places, I mean, yeah, most most places are not. Uh, at least not yet. And if they do, it'll be like, well, we'll let you know a limited amount of people do a limited amount of right. things. And it's like, fuck you. What do you mean you'll you'll let pe you get out the hell out of my way? You you ain't the boss of me with a Hell yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, and to be able to these, you know, to to be able to force businesses to close, which I get, I get it to a point. I don't. But I don't. It's not that it's not up to them. If, right. If you want right. to tell people, hey, look, there's an illness out there that right. you, and if you go out there, you might get. It's up to you if you want to stay home or not. Then, then, then that's up to you. But right. Uh, uh, we're not going to order you to stay at home. We're not going to order businesses to close. If they want to keep doing their stuff, then you let them do their damn stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's your, it's your... I hear you because you can't, you can't, <laughs> there can't be no gray area. It's either one way or the other. Right. You can't, yeah, you can't do it both ways. This this limited lockdown nonsense. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Total. Okay, let's see. The print says, the thing is, if I'm walking around asymptomatic and someone's grandma dies because I infected her, I'm not going to feel, well. You're, that's, <laughs> well I, oh, I, my God. Go ahead, Grim. <laughs> well, Go ahead, Grim. If you're walking around asymptomatic and the grandma's out there walking around asymptomatic, it's on her. It's not on you. You don't know you have something. Uh, that's the thing. It's asymptomatic. I'm not buying it. I'm, I have not been sick for two months, and they're, they're saying I'm a carrier of this thing. And I should feel guilty if I come in contact with some old enough person, older person or something. And But how are you going to know right. how they I, got I mean, it? That, if, you, if someone gets this thing, do they know exactly how they got it? No, right. they do not. They do not. And that grandma could have stayed at home. That grandma could have wore right. a mask and gloves. That, that grandma could have. And if she was afraid of getting it, and, and if they, if any of the part they say is true about it affects older people, Really? Yeah. No. It, it affects, to them, that's not true anymore. It's 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 killing people of all ages. Well, they no. They institute lockdown procedures as a matter of control. It's got yes. nothing to do with anybody's health. No, it's, it's a ma not. It's a matter of making you say they're the master, you're right. the slave. So and the mo the, the mask thing. Yeah. That's a sign of submission. Dude. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's a symbolic thing. That is, that you know, in order for the mask to really work, you know, people that are making these homemade masks. Yeah. That's not going to work. Ah, they don't do shit. That's, that's not going to help you. 
the mask thing is not. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a it's a symbolic right. thing because they're huge in the symbology. They want to see how many motherfucking people will walk around with goddamn mask on and keep their mouth goddamn shut. Right. That's what they're doing. And, and they're also That's what like they want to know how many people are complying with wearing a mask so they'll keep their goddamn mouth shut. And that, I'm not one of them people. I'm not keeping my goddamn mouth shut. Uh, yeah. Huh? I am not sick, and you're not going to fucking tell me that I'm goddamn sick when I know I'm not. If you were keeping your mouth shut, I would know you were sick. Right. Exactly. <laughs> then you really know if I'm sick. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's, they're, they're also testing the limits. You know, they're, they want to see how far they can push people yeah. before people push back. That's and and so about. far... Um, it's all the way. They you can push people talk. all That's the way. That's what I'm saying, Prince. It's a symbolic thing. They know you can talk wearing it. They just want to see how many people will go along with it. It's about <laughs> control. Now you should be triggered, Zipix. <laughs> yep. You're, damn well if you're not all pissed right. off. You haven't been paying attention. Okay, You've let's... been saying that for 11 years. Let, 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 let's cover let's cover this one here because I, I okay. came across this earlier today. I posted it in the chat, but uh, here it is. Just so you know, just so you know, this happened. Woodstock occurred in the middle of a pandemic. I read that. I, I saved that one. Yeah, talk this, about it. I'm glad this, you brought it up. This is posted on AIER.org, the American Institute of Economic Research yep. by yep. Uh, Jeffrey Tucker. Today, today he posted yep. this. He says, in my lifetime, there was another deadly flu epidemic in the United States. The flu spread from Hong Kong to the U.S., arriving December 1968 and peaking a year later. It ultimately killed 100,000 people in the United States, mostly over the age of 65, and 1 million worldwide. Lifespan in the U.S. in those two days was 70, whereas it is 78 today. Population was 200 million compared to 328 million today. If it would uh, be possible to extrapolate the death data based on the population and demographics, we might be looking at a quarter million deaths today from this virus. So in terms of lethality, it was as deadly and scary as corona, if not more so. Right. Uh, though we shall have to wait and see. Uh, in 1968, says Nathaniel L. Manure Moore at National Interest, the H3N2 pandemic killed more individuals in the U.S. than the combined total number of American fatalities in both Vietnam and Korean wars. And this happened in the lifetimes of every American over 52 years of age. That includes you. Um, uh, I was five years old and have no memory of this at all. My mother vaguely remembers being uh, careful and washing surfaces and encouraging her mom and dad to be careful. Otherwise, it's mostly forgotten today. Why is that? Nothing closed. Schools, right. stay, schools stayed open. All businesses did, too. You could go to the movies. You could go to bars and restaurants. John Fund, who has a friend... Uh, has a friend who reports having attended a Grateful Dead concert. And, and if you're not going to get sick at a Grateful Dead concert, you're not getting sick anywhere. Uh, <laughs> right, exactly. All yeah. them joints being passed around. Uh, just all kinds of, you know, whatever. Having yeah. sex in the mud. Uh, sex. Yeah. In fact, people who have no memory or awareness of that famous Woodstock concert of August 1969 actually occurred during a deadly American flu pandemic that only peaked six months later. Stock markets didn't crash. Congress passed no legislation. Right. The Federal Reserve did nothing. Not a, sing <laughs> not a single governor acted to enforce social distancing, curve flattening, even though hundreds of thousands of people were hospitalized, or banning of crowds. No mothers were arrested. No daycares were shut, even right. though there were more infant deaths with this virus than the, than the one we are experiencing now. There were no suicides, no unemployment, no drug overdoses. Media covered the pandemic, but it never became a big issue. As right. Bohan Pasavensky, whatever, uh, in the Wall Street Journal points out, in the 1968 through 1970, news outlets devoted cursory attention to the virus, 
while training their lenses on other events such as the moon landing, Vietnam War, cultural upheaval of the civil rights movements, student protests, and the uh, sexual revolution. Um, the only actions, <laughs> the only actions government took was to collect data, watch and wait, encourage testing and vaccines, and so on. Right. The medical community took the primary primary responsibility for disease mitigation, as one might expect. It was widely assumed that the diseases require medical, not political responses. As, Hello. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not as if we had governments unwilling to intervene in other matters. We had the Vietnam War, social welfare, public housing, urban renewal, and the rise of Medicare and Medicaid. We had a president swearing to cure all poverty, illiteracy, and disease, which he caused much more of. Uh, uh, government was intrusive as it had ever been in history, but for some reason... There was no thought given to shutdowns. None. None. Hmm. Which raises the question, why, right. was, why was this different? We'll, we, right. will, we will be trying to figure that one out for decades. Yeah. It was the difference that we have mass media invading our lives with endless notifications blowing up in our pockets? Was there some change in philosophy that we now think politics is responsible for all existing aspects in life? Was there a political element here that the media blew this wildly out of proportion? Oh, yeah, think. As, as revenge against the Trumpster and his deplorables. Or did excessive adoration or of predictive modeling get out of control to the point that we let a physicist with a ridiculous model frighten the world's governments into violating the human rights of billions of people? Ding! Yeah. All right. Ding, um, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Maybe all of those were factors, or maybe there is something darker and more nefarious at work as the conspiracy theorist. Hey, that's me! Uh, ah, would, hello. Would, uh, would have it. Regardless, they all have some splaining to do, Lucy. Splaining. Uh, uh, by 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 way of personal recollection, my own mother and father were part of the generation that believed they had developed sophisticated views of viruses. They understood that less vulnerable people getting them not only strengthened immune systems but contributed to disease mitigation by reaching herd immunity. Right. Let me let me let me let me let me share that sentence again. They understood that less vulnerable people getting them not only strengthened immune systems but contributed to disease mitigation by reaching herd immunity. By getting them that means by getting the diseases. Yes. Hello. They had a whole protocol to make a child feel better about getting sick. I got a sick mm -hmm. toy, unlimited ice cream, Vicks rub on my chest, a humidifier in my room, and so Get on. Get the same home from the school. Yeah. Eat chicken soup. Watch they, TV. They, they would constantly congratulate me on building immunity. They, yeah. did, <laughs> they did hear their very best. Uh, they did their very best to be happy about my viruses while doing their best to get me through them. If we used government lockdowns then, like we're using them today... Woodstock, which changed music forever and still resonates today, would never have occurred. How much prosperity, culture, tech, etc. are we losing in this government-created calamity? What happened? Right. What the hell happened between then and now? Was there some kind of lost knowledge, as happened with scurvy, when we once had sophistication and then the knowledge was lost and had to be refound? For Corona... We reverted to medieval-style understandings and policies. Even in the 21st century, it's all very strange. The contrast between 1968 and 2020 could not be more striking. Uh, they, they, right. They were smart. We are idiots. Or at least <laughs> our, our governments are. And we, we are letting them do it. Yes. People are calling for it. Does this theory work for STDs? Well, uh, uh, you have to learn about STDs on your own. Uh, right, uh, now, yeah. Now, uh, these days... And I I'm say, not an expert on those. And, I, and I, I, say, I, say, I, the, I say these days, but like since the 80s, uh, STDs have gotten deadly. 
Uh, that, that, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a difference going on right. there. Well, they uh, always were. Certain kinds always were. Yeah, but I, but I mean, your, your normal clap and uh, whatever. Crabs. Yeah, the, the, the crabs, syphilis. <laughs> those, those things are all highly curable. And uh, it, so if you got those, that was no big deal. But, uh, I mean, if... if Gonorrhea, the, though, uh, was not a good thing. No, but a shot of penicillin fixed it. No, isn't there one that will kill you? Or does that change now? Well, syphilis would kill you if you don't treat it. That's what I'm saying. Eventually, it, I mean, if it's but, left but, untreated, yes. But it takes a long time, years. Yeah, uh, and it, it, right. It, 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 first it goes after your brain and makes you go nuts a little bit. And nuts, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but these, these are the people of today. These are the ones that today that are out there. And this is a story about Britain. Uh, and not not the United States, but it, it applies to the United okay. States too, because I've I've seen study after study or poll or whatever you want to call them, uh, right. where, where this is the case, where this is true. Yeah, HIV AIDS, if that that even exists, which I'm I'm highly questioning. Uh, I've always questioned highly on that. I pretty much think it's the drugs they they give you people these tests and say, oh, you've got. The HIV, right? Uh, which they, they may, give or, you drugs. they may or may not, and then they give you drugs, and the drugs kill you, and they, yep. they say, "Oh, he died of AIDS." Right. Yeah. That's kind of like the same thing that's going on right now. Right. Okay. So this is how people are out there. And last week, I think I talked about one from Oregon, where eighty-two percent of the people are in favor of the full-on lockdowns. But this, this is over in the UK. It says Britons fear leaving homes. Even if the lockdown is lifted, <laughs> so so they, even if it was free and clear, government decided, all right, this is all back to, to pre-corona times. They wouldn't leave their homes. So many right. many, many Britons, and I'm going to say Users as well, uh, would be uncomfortable leaving their homes, even if the government ordered a lifting of the strict coronavirus lockdowns restrictions. Uh, in a month's time, according to a poll on Friday, I, I don't really know that I need to go into the, all the all the data here that's involved because I just I, I'm I'm not I don't I don't get it I I don't what is wrong with people? They were out there they've been out there their entire lives. There's been diseases out there in their right, entire right. their entire and, and lives. Also, then people are like. Uh oh. There's been there's been deadly shit going on. Oh my god. Since you were right. born, and there'll be right. deadly shit, shit after that this. That can kill you. And, and newsflash: more people die from fucking so, car wrecks. I guarantee you. So so what's going on here? What is with this? What's the difference? Why all of a sudden? It's because they're telling you. The governor is saying it. It's because the the president is saying it. Well, it's, they it's, believe it's a, these people. They believe them. Well, they're they're being slammed day after day, hour after hour. Right. Numbers, and you guys can't see that. Uh, numbers up on the screen. Death toll. Here's the infection rate. Here's the death toll. Right. Oh, it's yeah. Fear here's, porn. Here's, it's fear porn. Here's all the things you got to do to protect yourself from this new magical disease. I mean, and, uh, since when has washing your hands for 20 seconds, when is it a new thing? That's <laughs> always know. been a thing. I don't know. It's always been a thing. Ask my kids how how much I harped on them about washing their goddamn hands. Yeah. So much. Like, uh, even yeah. still today, I'm like, wash your hands. It, it, <laughs> it's it, like, I mean. It, it's difficult with kids, you know. I, it is. Uh, well, mine are 19, but, and they yeah. know better now. I mean. All right. I, I got other stories here, but I think I want to wait until after another set because. Okay. Yeah, let's do a some, another some set of them, here. Some of them require discussion that will take a while okay sounds good <laughs> as you know from experience right Chris? oh i do i do <laughs> all right then thanks for that, tuning in everyone during that, the uh pandemic yes yes indeed oh don't fear anything it's man. a waxing gibbous i believe because it's going into a full moon next the, on the 7th of may what what is today? Black Sea Gibbous. Today is the first of May, so in six oh, yeah. days there will be a full moon. Thursday, Thursday is the full moon. Yes, Thursday is the full moon. Just let you guys know. Heads up. Yeah. You know, we think it's weird now. Just wait. Just wait till next week. Right, It'll just... get weirder. Trust me. I, I just feel it. I just know it. I just have a feeling. 
Oh, it's an all-star lineup. That's why it doesn't say who it is. Okay. Oh, okay. An all-star all right. lineup in this uh, all right. opening track here. So uh, y'all get ready to do your little uh, chair dances or whatever, whatever yeah. it is you do. Enjoy, uh, people. Yes, indeed. <laughs> See you next week, hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully. We'll see you next week, Steve. Because, uh, man, we, we, we love you. All right, C6 Steve there doing uh, Started Out With Nothing. And I think uh, him, like uh, most of y'all, uh, well, like me anyway, started out with nothing, but I still got most of it left. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Before that, for uh, Cowboy Tech, there was The Who doing Pinball Wizard. Uh, I'm not sure when that was recorded. Uh, 1970, Isle of Wight. Uh, nice. Was, was old the, one. Yeah, old one, old one. I was four years old. <laughs> uh, I was ten. I, well, I don't know what didn't didn't say the date. Does it say the date here? Uh, <laughs> August 30th. So, yeah, I just turned ten. Um. <laughs> okay. I was not four. I was three still. Uh, okay. And uh, the first we kicked it off there with the Austin City Limit celebrates 40 years doing Buddy Holly's not fade away. Is that a, is that a you request, Moose Girl? Uh, uh, I, I forget who requested it. Somebody requested it, and so thank you for the request. All kinds of great folk in that video. Uh, it, was, it was cool. Oh yeah, that's a uh, that's yeah. a hell of a video. That was my request. Yes, the Jeff Bridges, yeah, yeah, Bonnie yeah. Raitt, Doyle right, Bramhall, right. Jimmy Vaughn, Gary Clark Jr. was in there. Right. I don't right. know who the lap steel player was. I, I do not know. I don't know if they even showed a face of that lap steel player. Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. They showed him. They showed him sitting down at the I just a saw, couple times. Not I a did, lot. They just show him a lot. I but. just saw the hands. Oh, Cheryl Crow was in there on harmonica. She plays good harmonica. Oh, well, yeah, she sure do. That was cool. Yeah, she sang too. But Bonnie didn't sing. Bonnie just played. And that I think I, I went. I walked away for a little bit. I don't think Bonnie did play though, or sing. I mean, I don't. You recall. do a exclamation point R E Q space and then the YouTube link. Yep, it's got to be a YouTube link. It's got to be a good YouTube link. Yep, uh, good and, audio. We prefer and uh, with actual video rather than static image. But right, we'll do we we'll, we'll do static image if that's what you got. Right, but <laughs> we look, that's just what you know. That's our preference. So, sometimes whatever I, you want, yeah. So, as long no, as it's a YouTube video and it's not like heavy, because we will like not play everything you request. Just saying. And and it may not get played for a month or three, or seven. Right. It it, it will go into the queue basically. <laughs> I, I've got stuff in here from four years ago. Because uh, he already <laughs> he like plans the show all the times so ahead of time, kind of like sort of. So of. he's got an idea of exactly what songs he's playing ahead of time to once in a while to, to if we degree. request one during the show he'll throw it in there swing so. low okay all right cool <laughs> i think they played that though um uh power hour last week to open the show tell me if i'm wrong but I'm pretty sure you guys started oh, yeah. that yeah, show, they did. Power they, Hour. They they did they did play that last week, and I believe that was even the name of the uh, uh, the title of that of that show. That show, right? So I doubt we will play that one tonight. Okay. And he pleads the fifth. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey JJ is from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey JJ. And then Ben yeah. Wah popped in here too, and a couple other people. Like, well, I mean, not a couple other people. That's that's what I saw was Benoit and JJ STLMO. Yeah. So y'all. All right. Welcome. How do y'all? All right. This first. Happy Freakers. Uh, this, what? This, this first link I have for you this time here. Mm-hmm. It's a tweet. It's a tweet. Okay. And you know who tweeted it? Donald Trump. Bill Gates. Oh, shit. Okay. Go oh, even worse. Bill, oh, God. Okay. Bill Gates went on to Twitter, and he tweeted, Humankind has never had a more urgent task than creating broad immunity for coronavirus. It's going to require a global cooperative effort like the world has never seen. But I, oh, know, yeah. I know we will get it done. There is simply no alternative. Yeah. Uh, what? Okay. And who are you to say, buddy? <laughs> Now, now let me just give you some. Now, let me just give you. Let me just give you some of the comments 
to okay, his yes, tweet please. as we start here. Stacy Walker uh, replied, Given the fact that you're a eugenicist, I'm thinking coronavirus isn't quite deadly enough for your depopulation agenda. Do you really think we're going to line up to be injected with this? Not all of us are brain dead. Hooray. Right, hello. Hooray, Stacy. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you, Stacy. Whoever you are, thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, it's uh, Voluntary Japan said, Okay, not to be a conspiracy not to be a conspiracy theorist to know that rushing an RNA vaccine to market is a horrible fucking idea. And then there's a bunch of, like, there's that PP the Frog there flipping them off. And, and then there's a uh, Bob, you know, Bob from, well, maybe you don't, uh, but the famous Bob no. fl flipping people off. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I don't. I'm not. A, I, I saw something about it today. Yeah. Okay. And then there's uh, Susan from United We Stand says, exactly what type of medical degree do you have, Bill? PhD <laughs> and exactly. PhD and what? Who are you to just take charge? Why should we trust a man that openly speaks of depopulation with no medical background? <laughs> then there's a picture, a cartoon of Bill Gates that says, I identify as a doctor. <laughs> he says, he, <laughs> I identify as a doctor. <laughs> he, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. You're just not yeah. respecting his pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my uh, God. Th Thomas Flake says, there is no vaccine for AIDS, SARS, MERS. Anyone right. trying to sell you one for CV-19 is selling you something other than a cure. Exactly. Uh, right. Anyway, there's there's thousands of these replies to, to Bill Gates here, and um, <laughs> they are not kind to him. <laughs> Good. That motherfucker, people are roasting that guy, and it's been a long time coming, and I'm glad to see this happening. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link here. You can look through his. You He's can... being roasted, and it, he deserves it on a huge scale. He deserves to be roasted like this. I feel no pity for this man at all. None. Because I guarantee none. you, he don't feel pity for you. <laughs> so... He wants to inject you with some of his shit, dude. Yeah. He's talking shit. It's like, yeah. fuck you, buddy. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Seriously, get the fuck away from me. Oh. And shut the fuck up, please. You know, <laughs> and then I'm sorry, but we might have talked about this a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, maybe now. I don't know. But when he put up that Microsoft commercial and he used that Marina Abramovich fucking cunt in yeah. the commercial, right. like she's a visual artist. Right. This lady is the one that puts on the soul cooking ceremonies and crap. Right. She's a right. worshiper. So he got roasted for that, and they took it down, like, the next day. Because there was, like, how many thousands of dislikes for him? Remember? Oh, tons, like, tons. 40,000 dislikes or something. Like, there was huge backlash over that. Because everyone know, every that made me feel better a little bit, because at least people are on to that part of it. Right. They didn't let that slide. Right, the spirit cooking shit. Yeah. And she she writes messages in pig's blood, supposedly pig's blood. On the wall and shit. Just really weird shit. And she eats babies. Like, just bizarre crap. What? <laughs> so that she eats babies. Yeah, and she's fucking evil. And these people are fucking evil. Okay? So that, if that doesn't tell you something about Bill Gates, I don't know what will. But he's trying to promote this woman like some visual artist. Excuse me, dude. And why did they take that down the next day? Because of all the backlash. Because everyone's on of these fucking people. Right. Maybe not right. everyone, but enough people are finally that we're not putting up with this shit. Oh, this yeah. Bullshit. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. So anyway, all this, this human trap. Look, all this human trap. Sorry, Grim. Okay. All this human trafficking. All this pizza gate, sh gate shit. It's all fucking true. It is true. Okay. Absolutely. These people are sick. Okay? They are fucking sick. They come across like they're some humanitarian, right? No, they are the exact op exact opposite. Just like I say, when they say something, believe the opposite to be true. Whatever they say, and try this out. 
try this out for your for real. Whatever they say, believe the opposite and give it. Just sit back and watch. I oh, guarantee yeah. you, the opposite of what they say will happen. Exactly. It will. It will happen. And you see that they're Human clever. trafficking has not gone down. Yeah, you, okay? see the, you see the they clever. Just, uh, the, you you see the clever little names they give to their various uh, projects. Right. Uh, or things like, I mean, just take, for example, the Patriot Act, which is right. uh, uh, the opposite of... the Patriot Act. Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's, it's the Let's enslavement act. Let's destroy the Constitution. Here. Let's destroy the Constitution and put rip it into shreds. Thanks, Vinny. And then with the NDAA, we're going to fucking obliterate the goddamn thing. But we're not going to tell people we did that. We're just going to give it this name, NDAA. Right. We're not going to say this is the new Constitution. We're not going to tell them that. We're just going to tell them this is what's happening now. Okay? Yeah. That's how they work. Peace. See you, Ben. Good night, buddy. Hillbilly yeah. farmer. <laughs> All right. This this next article, I, I I really put it in here basically just for the. For I gotta the, give him crap, Grim. I guess. I, I understand. No, he needs it. He needs. It. He, <laughs> loves, he loves it. He'd feel he'd feel he'd feel dissed if you didn't. All right. <laughs> All right. So this next article, I put it here primarily for the title, but there's a, a little bit more to it than that that I can try and decipher for you. Um, here it is. It's on the Guardian. U.S. germ warfare research leads to new early COVID nineteen tests. Did you did you hear U.S. germ warfare research? Now there US are U.S. germ US warfare germ warfare research. research. Okay. Now you know there are treaties against germ warfare. Yes, which there the U, is. Since what the fucking World War Two, right? Which the U.S. is signatory to. It that, is. Which means the U.S. should not be doing any germ warfare no. research. <laughs> right, but of course we all know they always have been, um, and, and they always have been. But to bring it out like this, big headline on the Guardian here. So, right, it says exclusive test has potential to identify carriers. Oh be- God, this is scary shit here. Before yeah. they become infectious. Now that's scary shit. Uh-huh. So scientists working for the United States military have designed a new corona test that could potentially identify carriers before they become infectious and spread the disease. Oh my god, do you can you see where this is going? They're identifying or it could go carriers before they become infectious. See? See? This is no. This is this is where I have a problem. Not not this invisible uh, thing uh, uh, we're uh, supposed to be afraid of. Let me, let me go on a little and bit. And they're before telling you you're, you're a carrier, but you have no symptoms. Let, you know what? That is, <laughs> any time I've been sick, I've known I'm sick because I have symptoms. Okay, well, let me, let me go on a little bit um, before okay, you. Sorry, before I'm sorry, you no, that's all right. That's no, all right. No, no, yeah, I'll just say, let me, let me go on a little bit before you rant because there's more, more rantable stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> In what could be a significant breakthrough, project coordinators hope the blood based test will be able to detect the virus's presence as early as 24 hours after infection before people show symptoms and several days before the carrier is considered capable of spreading it to other people that is also around four days before current tests can detect the virus so blood oh crap oh crap blood based test which means if they push this through they are going to force blood draws from anybody that pretty much does anything, anything yeah. in public. They're going to force blood draws like they do in some states now. Yeah. On, this is, okay. on, Did on, you hear that the, word? For, force. 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 That, like, force. They, like, like they do in what does some, that mean? some states. Some states have what they call. Uh, for for drug driving, they do have what is they call a no refusal weekend. Yes, where yes. they if you where refuse, they will... it, don't refuse a blood drop for a DUI pullover because they'll crucify you. They will. They'll, they'll take you and they'll strap you down they to will. a table. They'll crucify you of course, and, if you refuse a blood draw so, for a DWI. Uh, but newsflash: don't drive drunk. So uh, here don't it is. Don't drive drunk. That's it. Uh, well, absolutely that, but whatever. Uh, the, the test has emerged from a project set up by. 
DARPA. <laughs> what? No way. Yes, way. No way. Aimed, aimed, no way. At, <laughs> aimed at a response, uh, a rapid diagnosis of germ or chemical warfare poisoning. So it's for germ or... Does this or, remind you of something? Da, 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 germ or chemical warfare poisoning. Does that they remind are, you of something? They are looking for germ or chemical warfare poisoning to identify corona carriers. Which what? means oh, okay. Which means corona is chem, is germ warfare. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's what it means. Exactly. It was, hurri- it was hurriedly repurposed when the pandemic broke out, and the newest test is... Hurriedly? Expect- yes. Hurriedly. Repurposed. Repurposed, meaning they already had it. Yeah, uh, repurposed. <laughs> quick, quick. And, and the new test is expected Ever to be... The, the new, new test is expected to be put forward for emergency use approval by the FDA, the Federal Death Administration. Oh, with, my God, within, the fucking murderers. Within oh a week. They're going to approve yeah. the test within a week. They can't tell you nothing within a week, but they're going to go ahead and prove the test. Yeah. What? Uh, oh, okay. Well, just like they did with whatever uh, Franchi's new uh, fix is. Uh, anyway. Yeah. The concept fills a diagnostic gap worldwide. The head of DARPA's Biological Technologies Office, oh, uh, Dr. Brad Ring, Some people are evil. Ring is in, told the Guardian. <laughs> uh, since it also filled testing gaps at funny, later, st- uh, uh, if given FDA approval, which of course it will be, uh, it has the potential oh, yeah. to be an absolute game changer. Pre-infectious detection. You're not what? In, okay. This test, is crap. They're, they're, they're testing you for infection before you're infected. <laughs> okay. Now they've done it. Now uh, we know what's going on. Yeah, we certainly do know what's going on, man. You and then uh, that the mustard gas and shit that the Nazis used. You where uh, do you think the U.S. got this idea? Where you do you think uh, they got these ideas? U.S. Holy germ. Crap. U.S. germ warfare research. Wow, germ uh, warfare. I, 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 they're yeah, yeah, they're yeah, yeah. telling you right there right that's there. what they're doing. <laughs> they're telling you that is what they are doing. It's right there. Oh, Don't put your blinders on. Read the goddamn article. I dare wow. you. Man. Take your goddamn blinders off, you motherfuckers. Seriously, come on now. Use your brains. Okay. Okay? They lied to you before this. They're lying to you now. There's lies on top of lies. lies. They are liars. Lies, lies on top of lies. They program you with TV and their mainstream media. When are you going to realize that? Speaking of lies. When are you going to realize this is all a fucking scam? <laughs> Everything. The elections. The two-party system. It's bullshit. The Constitution. The currency. <laughs> the fact that they can fucking uh, fix the economy. It's bullshit. They can't. Boo, Pucky. It's all of it. Every fucking thing you've <laughs> ever believed about them is bullshit. Everything. Speaking Wake of up. Uh, speaking of lies. <laughs> this, right. next, this next article on Gateway Pundit. Media lied. People died. Italian yep. study finds incredible prophylaxis result for patients on hydroxychloroquine. Incredible. But the media has lied. And the people have died. How many Americans have died because the liberal media, eh, whatever, liberal, not liberal, whatever, the liberal media lied about hydroxychloroquine. Uh, the media has been on a jihad against the drug since the Trumpster first announced its amazing ability to treat coronavirus patients. Blood on their hands. Liberal media would rather see Americans die than report honestly on hydroxychloroquine. Right. Yeah, it's like, thanks a lot, people. Well, the lot of good you are. Last week, <laughs> last week, the, the clap, I'll just, I'll just call them the clap, the corporate lame ass propaganda. They're the clap. The clap. Uh, instead of calling them mainstream or liberal media, right. whatever. Yeah, they're it, the it's class. all the same shit. They're, they're all owned right. by the same people. If you think Fox News is any different than MSNBC or CNN, you're out of your mind. Anyway, so last week the clap went as far as to report on a shoddy UVA study that, fa- that found no benefit from the drug. 
Dr. Stephen Smith told the Ingram Angle, whatever that is, Monday night that a <laughs> study published last week indicating that the anti-malarial drug, hydroxychloroquine, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Chloroquine, no, oh, who knows. Showed no benefit for corona patients in the U.S. Uh, in the Veterans Hospital was a sham, a major sham. Really? Uh, Imagine that. And no now, way. and now, a no new way. study, a new study from hard hit Italy, found that those Italians on hydroxychloroquine for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis did not come down with the coronavirus. What? They they had they were already on the on the chlor hydroxychloroquine okay. for for other things for lupus and arthritis. Okay. And they did not get any corona. <laughs> Italian, the Italian Society for Rheumatology studied 65,000 patients on long-term hydroxychloroquine for for uh, uh, arthritis and lupus. Only 20 patients tested positive for corona in uh, no ICU, no deaths. This is a 90% reduction in infection rate compared to the rest of Italy. <laughs> yes, uh, the media lied. People oh, died. It, what? No way. <laughs> yes. The clap yeah. lied. The clap lied. Really? No. Imagine. They don't do that. Just imagine that. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't do that. No, but in other news, in other there's news. this dude in Florida, and I don't know how bright he is because it's Florida. He's dressed all in black, dressed as the Grim Reaper. Oh right, well not the Grim okay. Reaper, as one of the old uh, old time, uh, uh, the the old time uh, what, do you, what do you call that plague doctor? Plague doctor. Yeah, plague yeah, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just pull, let me just talk about the Grim Reaper. I'm sorry that you were on the roll, but all right. um, the Grim Reaper has come to Florida oh, newly oh. reopened beaches. He's not happy. Okay, so they but, they do have an actual Grim Reaper, not a plague doctor. No, but there was a p plague. Someone, some guy was being looked for. Uh, we just posted the link two days ago about, or maybe it was yesterday. A guy walking around dressed as a plague doctor. Yeah. With the big beak mask and shit. Right, right. And the cops are looking for. Because <laughs> of course the neighbors called because that's weird, right? It's like, dude, it's a pandemic. Somebody, Why is this weird? You know, for when the, when this Grim Reaper's down there, somebody should have just started blasting BOC. Don't fear the Reaper! Yeah. And, 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 smack, and smacking a cowbell. We need more cowbell! <laughs> I hope someone would do that. Oh, that would be freaking hilarious. Can you imagine? Pull up their car, big old speakers start blasting. <laughs> Don't fear the Reaper! Don't fear the Reaper! <laughs> oh my god, that would be hilarious. Anyway, uh, the specter of death, otherwise known in this instance as well, and Walton County Attorney Daniel Yulfelder roamed the beaches of Walton County to bring attention to the potential dangers of reopening Florida's beaches while they, the cases continue to turn up around the state. I, th I think his name is pronounced You Felt Her. You, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's in Florida. He's wearing all black. It's like, dude, are you worried about a heat stroke much at all or not? Uh, apparently you're not. Well, you're a grim reaper. You don't really care about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he, nothing affects you right, when you're, <laughs> if you're actually dead. But he's not actually dead. <laughs> it's not right. the actual grim reaper. Right. <laughs> Hello. It's not. Anyway. Um. I, okay. Go ahead, Grim. Uh, that, that, I got it. I mean, you got something. Oh, else? okay. No, it, the plague doctor. Well, let me see if I can find it on Twitter. I don't know. It, it, it's like really. Yeah. The neighbors, oh, he's scaring kids. Oh. No, what you say is, oh, that's what they used to wear in the 1980s, 18, back in the day when the doctors would come and try to help people. Right. You don't let the kids be, oh, here it is. It's right here. I just found it. Okay. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. You got to see this. You, you, you got to see this. It's, it's, we were talking about it yesterday. Oh, my God. It's, no, it, that's not it. I just found it. What the heck? Oh, here it is. It's freaking hilarious. Okay. People are being really creative, dude. This is just an artist. He's just making a point. It's like you don't need to call the fucking authorities. Just tell the kids if they're scared. Say, oh, no, that's just a plague doctor. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Mom? 
Well, back in the day, when there was illness like there is, and doctors had to go visit, you know, make it a history lesson. Make a circle said. You know, when we were talking about it. She's like, there's no, you know, this is a weird time. I mean, it looks, I don't know if you want to play it or show it, Grim, on the screen or not. No, that's all right. They can click it. Um, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, click that and you'll see what I'm talking about here. But it's like people are wigging out. Like I started talking about today. People are over calling the cops for stupid fucking shit. Yeah, like oh, I yeah. saw a post on the Facebook scanner page that, oh, some dog was parking or peeing in the neighbor's yard. Right. And even though the neighbor had told the neighbor, don't let your dog pee in my yard, the dog did it again. Uh huh. It's like, why don't you just, oh, should we put up a fence? It's like, yeah, put up a fucking fence, dude. Right. You know, you know, I get it. You don't want the dog peeing in your yard. I don't let my dog really pee in other people's yards. But when he, we go on our walks, he craps and pees in other people's yards all the time. But uh, I have a little baggie to pick up the shit. You know, I pick it up. I don't leave the shit there. Which I hate doing, but I'm doing the neighborly thing. You know, I wouldn't want shit in my yard either from some other dog. You know, so, I mean, some people have a huge dogs around here. Like, there's these people that have two huge Great Danes. Yeah. Like, thank you for not like, picking up your Great Dane shit from my yard. You know, thank you. <laughs> Because I don't have a great day. I have a Jack Russell. So, big difference in the shit size. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So, we're pretty, you know, all the dog owners around here are pretty freaking respectful. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. it's just, it, it, you know, you put yourself in their shoes. You know, it's a sure, responsibility. Sure, it's sure, my sure. dog. I'm not going to let my, my dog will shit in your yard, but I will pick up the shit from your yard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like an unwritten rule, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that, that looks like an interesting link. I'll get to that after this next set, after another okay. story that I have lined up there, uh, Rob Works. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to kick it off with something a little different here. All right. <laughs> You're going to say, who's that? Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to know. I already know I'm going to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's, it's a right. guy, a guy and a, I guess a girl, but a Whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> here you go. Enjoy. All right. Uh, I have some nice stuff there. If you like that kind of stuff, I like it. Uh, that's G A T C, or if you want to spell it out, Gearish in the Chronicles uh, with the song Identity Crisis. Just came out earlier this week on uh, what Monday. Monday that came out. Uh, GATC, if you're just searching for them on YouTube, if you want to find more music by them. They're a great, great band. Uh, before that was The Offspring, believe it or not, doing Here Kitty Kitty. Uh, in, in, in the Corona lockdown mode. Uh, and we kicked it off there with Tom Jones and the Cardigans covering the talking heads burning down the house. Oh boy. Tom Jones! On, on Tom the Freaker, Jones! On the Freakers Ball! <laughs> My mom used to have a crush on him back in the seventies. <laughs> like every housewife in the on the planet back yeah. in the seventies had a crush on Tom Jones. Sure, like he sure. was the shit, dude. <laughs> I was young, so it was be you know I I didn't get it, but uh, yeah, he, it he, was a thing. Uh, it was he, a thing. Tom Jones did one thing that I really liked. What was that? Mars attacks. Oh yeah, he, he was in there, right? <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah, he he was great in that film. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. I uh, can't. Re I have to watch that movie again. To, oh, absolutely! That movie is good. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's great stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mars <sighs> Attacks, Tom Jones. Yeah, all kinds of people were in that film. That was uh, that was a all star cast for sure in, in that movie. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah so. I remember that part of it, but I had to rewatch that one. I did yeah. watch They Live recently, which, you know, I re I've i seen many parts of that movie, but I never watched it in full. Right, right. And it's it made me laugh, dude, because, you know, this has nothing to do. Back in the 70s, I'm serious. I shit you not. I shit. And Grim backed me up on this. Back in the 70s, race wasn't that big of a deal. Right? No. Right? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. We had the Archie Bunker show. People pointed out each other's race 
It didn't mean they were being racist, though. Right. I mean, if someone's black and someone's white, you can usually tell the difference. Yeah. It's just common sense. Like my kids used to say, well, I'd be like, oh, you mean that Hmong kid? That Hmong friend of yours? They'd be like, that's racist, Mom. This was back when they were younger. Right. I'm like, no, it is not racist to say that he's a Hmong kid. He is a Hmong kid. (laughs) It's not racist to say someone, you know, I mean, maybe it would be if I said chink or something. Uh, that I mean, obviously would be a, race, a racial slur. If, 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 if you if you say a Japanese person is Japanese, is that racist? No, it no, is not. No, it's not. No, it, you know, if someone says to me, "You're a Swede," I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm half Swedish." Yeah, so <laughs> that wouldn't seem like a racist statement to me. No, no, not at all, not at all. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. I'm, half, I'm guilty, guilty as charged. I'm half Swedish, and a quarter German, a quarter Norwegian." So. I'm a mutt, basically. A skin of who? Everybody's a mutt. Well, yeah, basically. At this point. <laughs> oh god. But anyway, it's like point. I had to tell the boys that if I say a, that black kid, well, oh, okay, then I they, well, you can't say black now, mom. I'd be like, okay, African American. Does that work for you? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is back when they were like nine, ten, or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. anyway. I, I just, it's just like I told him, that is not racist to point out someone's race, if it's especially if it's obvious. Unless, of course, you're using it a racial slur or something. Right, right. You know, I mean, which I never, I don't do that. Sure. You know, yeah. so it's like, anyway, I don't know. People are freaking nuts, dude. Yeah. And, you know, we've I've said this for years. I said this when I did my own show 13, 14 years ago. I said, people are wigging out, and they're fucking, um, oh, yeah, the way that the government can control us is to keep us divided on many levels, like sexism, you know, um, racism, religion, the abortion issue. I mean, they, they, they keep us divided for a reason. Racially, uh, they don't want us being united as a whole, you know, group, because they know they're outnumbered. They freaking know that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sorry, but I know people, a lot of people out there, my Facebook friends and all these people that I know, they're all for the lockdown, they're all for all this thing, and they're all against the Michigan protest that took place two days ago, which I am for those protesters. I am on their fucking side. Absolutely. Because this is goddamn bullshit what's going on here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's nuts. So. And, it, yeah, you know. Yeah, so. I was, uh, oh, I was looking to say, I was happy to see people open carrying big guns. Sure. Right? Yeah. And they, they actually went in. Uh, if Hal listens or is listening now. He's listening. The, hey, they Hal. went in. They went into the building, Hal. Yep, they and were even there. Trump today they said something about it and said, told the governor of Michigan, you got to make a deal with these people. Right. You Or not, you got to. You should. Well, Basically, in so many words. Yeah. They No, this was in um, uh, Madison. Madison. Wisconsin. No, no. Where was it, Grim? Was it Madison? Yeah, it was, yeah, Madison. It was, it was a, Madison. Yeah, it was the Capitol building. Or the, 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 uh, it was the Capitol. No, it was Ma- Michigan. Sorry, Michigan. Capitol, Michigan. Lansing, Lansing. Michigan. And uh, they actually got in and they started chanting, this is our house. This is our house, which it is true. The people pay for these people to represent them, right? Sure. We all pay for these people to represent yeah. It's not about voting, okay? Right. You might vote or you might not vote. Whether, regardless if you vote or you don't, you're still paying their salary. You're paying for the cops. You're paying for the judges. You're paying for the mayor. You're paying for the governor. You're paying for all of it. Yep. All of their, you're paying all of their salary. You know what? If they're not doing their job the way they should be doing it, then guess what? The people have the right to stand up and go down there, march in that building, that Capitol building, right out of the House floor and say, enough is enough. Yep. And we're almost at that point. That's why I applaud those protesters in Michigan. Sure. 
because we pay for them. We pay their salary. Right. If they're not doing their job and protecting our best interests, they need to get the fuck out. They do. And you want, you know, you have, supposedly the sergeant at arms had to hold back the protesters. Right. It's like, you got fucking people here, you got several people here with long guns, you're really going to hold them back from getting in that place? You're not. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I dare you. I dare you to hold them back. Well, well if they wanted getting to get in onto the house floor. If they, if they really wanted to get in, they'd have got in. They would have. I agree. Yeah. But it was encouraging to see that group of people actually going into the building and not just standing outside right. holding their signs. You know, yep, yep. I did see some confused people. I saw one person, they showed a picture, holding a virus, virus hoax sign, had a virus hoax sign around their neck, but then it was wearing a mask. Uh, maybe it was just part of a so, costume. It could have been, but yeah. if, you, if you think it's a hoax, why you got a mask on? Like I said, you know, I'm part of the you know, outfit costume thing. I All mean, right. Yeah, it, no. It, 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 I know of nobody that has this shit. I have not heard of anybody that is close to me in any way, shape, or form that is sick and has this coronavirus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't. I'm happy about that if it's a real thing, but. And then this whole nonsense about being asymptomatic and everyone's a carrier, that is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I have been sick I have been sick before. I've had terrible colds, other things, and I know when I'm fucking sick. You know. Yeah. And I've been sitting around on lockdown for a couple months here and I'm still not fucking sick and I've been going to the grocery store, I've been going to the gas station, I've been going places, you know. Sure. I am not sick and don't tell me that I'm a carrier of this thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna cause someone's death. That's bullshit. Right. And so this is what people are finally seeing and going, This is bull crap. We can't do this anymore. You know how many bus- you don't want to even know how many businesses, small businesses, are going to they're already out of business. Right. They've already closed their doors. They've already said, we can't do this anymore. Uh, like, uh, let's say you're, you're in your 70s, you still have a small shop or something. You're going to hang it up. You're going to be like, fuck this, I'm retiring. Yep. You know? So all these small businesses are closing down, or whatever situation you're in. Right. That's just one example. But people can't, a business can't make it without customers. Okay? That's right. No, they can't. I mean, that's common sense. Sure. If you don't got customers for your business, you're fucked. Unless you've got some backup plan, you're basically fucked. And yes. look what the government's done to these people. Okay. Look what they've done to all of us. All of us. Everybody. All of not, us. And not just not just the U.S., but everywhere. Everywhere. Well, not global. quite. This is a global pandemic. Not, this not, is a not, global thing. A not global not quite shutdown. everywhere, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We, okay, go ahead, Grim. All right. Uh, th- this first one I have for you it comes from a website called creative deduct- creativededuction.com. And we've talked about this over the years in various forms, uh, but yep. not w- with these examples. Okay. So, the headline, Coronavirus, Lockdowns, and the Ease of Indoctrination. Ah. Uh-huh. So uh, it says, here, on an otherwise ordinary school day in 1967, Ron Jones, a young social studies teacher in Palo Alto, California, put his 10th grade students through an exercise which would become famous around the world. Putting uh, on a STEM facade, Jones explained that as an experiment, Students from now on would be expected to abide by a new set of rules. On the first day, he merely asked for stricter discipline. But by the second day, the students were being drilled into a movement, complete with cupped hand salute with with which members of the group, uh, which Jones named the third wave, were told to greet each other. On the third day, students who were not originally in the class joined, drawn in by the excitement of the third wave members who were eagerly designing banners with their slogan, Strength Through Discipline. 
and issuing, issuing member cards, such that by the end of the day, the group counted over 200 loyal members, many so devoted that they started reporting those who did not follow the rules. Get that? They, it, was, it was totally made up. They knew it was made up. Yep. They started following these rules. They started coming up with signs and, and hand salutes and, and recruiting other people. And if somebody wasn't following the rules, they were reporting them. So those which were to be followed, those rules which were to be followed even outside of school. By the fourth day, the experiment had taken on a life of its own, and Jones, who felt it was slipping from his control, told his students the third wave was in fact a nationwide, a nationwide movement, which would announce a presidential candidate on the very next day. When students gathered on the fifth day to watch their leader, they were instead told the third wave was disbanded and that they had, had in fact been part of an experiment to show how easily the seed of fascism could be planted. So easy. Uh, just a year later, a school teacher in Iowa by the name of Jane Elliott divided her third graders, all of whom were white, into two groups according to their eye color and told them that the kids with brown eyes were superior to those with blue eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and better intelligence. She told wow. them, she told, she told the children. Uh, the child abuse. Uh, was, intelligence, she told the children, was determined by melanin and sent those with brown eyes to lunch first, gave, wow. them, gave them a longer recess and sat them in front of the class. Wow. Uh, again, the results were immediate. The brown-eyed kids behaved more arrogantly and condescending of course. towards those with blue eyes. How old were they again? Uh, was, it, was it elementary? Was it elementary? Third graders, yeah, third graders. Yeah, of course. Okay. They know what's going on at that age. So, so the kids they with blue up on that. The, the, the kids with blue eyes in turn became timid and seemingly accepted wow. their lower their lower position in the hierarchy. Elliot ran her experiment to teach about racism and show that prejudice is a learned behavior, but it is also confirmed that the third wave experiment, what the third wave experiment had shown about how straightforward it is to conjure into existence an enforceable hierarchy and to coerce complicity with a figure in position of authority. In these, and now, to now, in these unprecedented days of suspension of basic civil liberties, brought on by government scrambling to deal with the fake coronavirus epidemic, it is worth reflecting on the experiments run by Jones and Elliot. Half of the world's population are in lockdown, ordered to stay at home to prevent the virus from spreading. Much like the subjects of the two experiments, we have been commanded by our governments to follow new rules that would have been unthinkable just a few weeks earlier, but which, when presented by authorita as necessary, most of us have accepted without question, despite or perhaps because of virology and epidemic containment being subjects most of us cannot relate to, uh, we do as we are told. Yeah, and, whatever. Who who tells you what to do? You or some other person? Or and thing? many and many of us with enthusiasm. Right. I <laughs> oh. mean, you know that is that experiment. Is that an experiment or a, I was I had to walk away for a second. I mean, I was like disrupted. <laughs> yeah. But um, that's crazy. Yep, it says uh, here, on April 16th, a YouGov survey found that 91% of Britons supported extending the draconian lockdown measures. 91%! Wow! <laughs> wow. In force since so March 23rd. So we know 23rd. how they're at, reacting. You know, the Brits are fucking more brainwashed than we are, I guess, and here in this country. Neighbors on sp are spying on each other and reporting to yes. the police. Reporting to the police if anyone breaks the rules. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's this is what I started talking about tonight. It, this neighbor, this this nosiness. You yeah. know, just mind your own goddamn business. Try that. You'll be a lot happier. Trust me. So 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 how real? How real? How real is this Corona crap? Ah, uh, it's not. It's not real. 
This is the article it's, that Rob, this is the article that Rob Works posted. Taiwan, no lockdowns, yeah. no closed business. Not an H W H O member. Uh, who? Who? Yep. Member. Who? And relatively unaffected by COVID nineteen. Unaffected. No. No lockdowns. No closed businesses. And not part of the who. John. Hello. Hop what does that tell you? Yeah. John Hopkins University had predicted that Taiwan would have the second most corona cases in the world due to its close proximity to mainland China. But astonishingly, in spite of being oh. only, only 80 miles from the coast of China, with over 400,000 of its 24 million citizens working in China as of mid-April, the country only had 400 cases of corona and only six deaths. And the vast majority of their 400 cases came into the country from abroad. All of this has happened without shutting down the country, with no lockdowns, with almost all of its businesses continuing to operate. Is Taiwan doing something else? The rest of the world is largely missing? Yeah, they're not locking down. Yeah. Uh, this, this question They're not a no member doubt. of the H WHO, right. which is the World Health Organization, not yeah. the man. We see the WHO. In this case, we're talking about the World Health Organization, which health, it's really the World Hell Organization. All right. right. Yeah. Not the health. It has nothing to do with health. And okay? Benoit, Benoit points out how, how all of, all of the, uh, all of the uh, meat, workers meat workers have this. Right. As yeah. Bill Gates, Bill Gates is has released his patent on this some kind of superior fake meat, you know. Yeah, uh, it's so, like, come on. So he, okay, he, we, let's he, put two and two together here. Connect the dots, people. He wants to control not just the medical everything in the, the world. The vaccine. But also, the you're, you're, yeah. But, but also the food. He wants to control the food. Fuck that. And, and on that. And just so you know, and this is probably will get no play out there in the world, even though it's on the Daily Mail. Um, and, right. And so it'll probably be pushed to the back burner really, really quickly, I would imagine. But uh, and I don't know why this article, this study just came out, but here it is. Okay. Eating meat may improve mental health. What kind of meat? You could have cut out a little bit. Eating meat, just eating meat. Eating meat. It, well, in, yeah, it's protein. May improve mental health. Now, that's the one part of the headline. Then they go on to say one in three vegetarians are depressed. I would think it'd be much higher than that, vegetarians. I mean, they, yeah. all, they all seem sickly and depressed. But <laughs> <laughs> So the study found that veg vegetarians are twice as likely to take medication for mental illness well, they should. They're they're not eating meat. There's something wrong with them. All right. Scientists so found vegetarians are nearly three times as likely to consider suicide. They got no bacon. Of course, they're considering suicide. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I I don't really want to get into the article much. I just wanted to, to share it with you because the article goes in to talking about the vegetarians, blah blah blah. But but the the thing that caught my mind is that eating meat. <laughs> improves your mental health. Hello. <laughs> so it's protein. Uh, I, you gotta do, have protein. Do, do, you we, do, do, do you really need to know any more than that? And now that they're shutting down all the the meat places, um, right? Uh, 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 you know, all the meat processing factories. Even though yeah. Trump said he was gonna keep them all open under whatever wartime thing. They're still or, doing it. Some of them are still doing it. Right. So, I mean, yeah, you're not going to get the meat workers to come back in if they think they're going to no. all go in and get sick, and they're all and they're all brainwashed into getting sick and being sick. If and they so, think they're going to get sick, they're not going to come into work. Right, right. So you can order all the stuff you want, but unless you got somebody in there right. uh, to, to, to do something. Um, and then The ones the, that might go to back to work are the ones that aren't buying into this crap. You right, know, if, right. if they're allowed to be open, if the plant decides to be open... You know, uh, there's still people going to go in there because they need money. They don't want to be in the unemployment thing, even though it seems like people are better off being on this unemployment because you're getting whatever you get from your state plus $600 a, a week from the feds. Well, I, Some I, people are making more on this than they ever were at their job. Right. 
So that's gonna be that's gonna create a whole bunch of people that aren't gonna want to go back to work. Well, you know, well, you, you know, know, one all one, these businesses are closing down. There's not gonna be as many jobs available. So basically, what you're doing is creating more of a dependent system, like we've been saying for two months now. Right. Well, you know who doesn't that absolutely does not want to go back to work. Who? Teachers unions. No, they want to do all online. They want to be like, I'm going to be in class in my pajamas. That's the way I won't. Get, I have less of a risk of getting shot. <laughs> Having some mass shooting happen at my school. Right. I guarantee you, universities and schools are going to go online only, except for in certain circumstances where you have to be on campus. They are going to, most of it, all the classroom shit, is going to be online. As it always and should I, have been for the last, yes. the last 20 and years. I think dorms should go away, too, because dorms are a joke. My son's TA, or, uh, resident assistant at his dorm last year, didn't like him and his roommate. Tried to get him bust, did get him busted for underage drinking. It's like, even though other people in the dorm were doing the same goddamn thing. Right. She didn't like him for some reason, them for some reason, which his roommate was a dick. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, and it, it, you know, I'm not saying my son didn't do any wrong because he did, you know, but I'm saying is, you know, those, those dorms are fucking a joke. Sure. And they're expensive. Yeah. yeah. And you got to be on their food plan. You're better off living in a house. The five other kids that are going, or four other kids that are going to the same school and buying your own groceries. Right. It's way cheaper because you're splitting the rent, you're buying your own groceries, you're not on their food plan. You know, the only thing that sucks is, yeah, on the food plan, they make the food for you. But other than that, you know, right. you, only, you still have to provide in between your meals, like snacks and apple and fruit, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So really, college is a ripoff. It has been. So maybe this will improve. That maybe something good will come of this, where because for as long as I can remember, uh, in the last twenty years, these kids graduate from college because it's pushed on them to go to college. But then they graduate and they're a hundred thousand or eighty thousand, eighty thousand to one hundred thousand dollars in debt. Right. Even if you're forty grand in debt, that's they, a lot of money. And they have totally useless degrees. Right, and a lot of them don't even use their degree. <laughs> they just go there to get that piece of paper, and they think they're going to be making a hundred grand when they graduate. No, that takes a long time to make. Unless you're going, you know, and to be a doctor, you got to go to school for twelve years. Uh, underwater basket weaving just doesn't pay much. No, and you know, it's just like <laughs> it, it, it. Maybe some good will come of this. I I hope. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping we. Everything's so up in the air right now. Everything's so uncertain. Yeah. And. I think you said that in the chat the other day that you didn't think you would see this in your lifetime, but it's right. happening. I did not. I did not expect to see. You that. are surprised that it is happening. Yeah. At this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised at the way they rolled it out. I mean, we talked about the pandemic scenario. Oh, they, they wasted no time getting that out there, man. Yeah. No, they didn't. Once they had it ready to be live, they went with it. Yeah. Well, they did that test in October, right? 2019. Event 201, when was that? Or maybe yeah, that was, it was October. later. It was, that was last October. Oh, that's October 2019, right? right that right. was the test. That was the, like, uh, trial run, sure. so to speak. The pre-test. Now they just said, oh, let's go with it. Right. And like we said, it's a global thing. It's not just this country. Yep. It's 184 countries. Right. Except for Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> which is one of the ones that's not being affected because right. they're not a member of the HW, WHO, I mean. Right. You know. So <laughs> anyway, uh, Cow Cowboy Tech posted this uh, meme there. and uh, what is it, What's the saying? Food control? Yeah. In, in 1873, the American government killed 1.5 million buffalo in that one yep. year alone to yep. starve the Native Americans. So they, they did. So they would become more dependent on the American government to survive. Exactly. Yeah. Nice Absol tactic, right? Absolute. Yes. Fucking right. bullshit. And the, you know what? It was so disgusting because I've I've been out to Yellowstone. I've been out west, and they show pictures. There's old pictures you can look them up online. Right. That show the 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 pile of buffalo, and you won't. That, and that's what the meme was. That was that's what his meme was. The pile. Yeah. It's totally 
fucking huge. Of buffalo skulls and a guy standing Yeah, like that. I mean, they, they they almost wiped out the buffalo completely. Right. They they went overboard, okay? Yeah, yeah. just to That's starve the Indians. That's they were to have control of the Native Americans. Right. And put them where they wanted them to be. Exactly. You know what I mean? And that's what they're doing now. Yep. Today, right now. It could to be you. this could be eighteen seventy six or eighteen fifty. This could be seventeen seventy eight. Right now. As as Russell Means said, welcome to the welcome reservation. Welcome to the reservation. Yep. Anyway, uh, that in stereo, Graham. That yes, I know, I know. We're 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 in sync. Yeah. We we needed to. That we're needed to be sync. said in stereo. Hey, Sark. Uh any anyways, back to the uh, teachers thing. Uh, yeah. Like I said, the, the teachers do not want to go back to work. The head of the teachers' union told members to scream bloody murder if schools open reopen prematurely. Uh, scream bloody murder. Scream oh, okay. Bloody wow. murder. Um, so the union leaders said if schools reopen without approval of medical experts, they will push for strikes. Uh, Randy Weingarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers told her members, you scream bloody murder if schools reopen without approval of medical <laughs> experts. Reported bloody murder. To Politico. And do they you, mean that literally, like, go and say bloody murder? I, I guess. It says, you do, <laughs> you do everything you can to use your public megaphone, okay. she added. Uh, it says, we are listening to the health experts and educators on when to reopen educators. schools. On when to reopen schools, not the whims of the bad orange man who boasts <laughs> a, about trusting his gut to guide him during this unprecedented oh global God. health crisis. People Ugh. are going insane. They're going Lulu. They're going <clears throat> that shit crazy, dude. Seriously. All bets yeah. are out the window now. Yep, yep. All right, let's play another set here. All right, let's do that. <laughs> and we'll come back with more. More, 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 more. She, she yelled, more, more, more. More, more, more. With a rebel yell. With a rebel yell. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Pearl Jam. Thank you. All right, all right. <laughs> that ended a little quicker than I thought it was going to. <laughs> uh, so that was uh, the highwayman there for Cowboy Tech. Uh, with uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson, and Waylon Jennings. Uh, yeah, so good stuff there. Thanks for that, Cowboy Tech. Before that, we had for Flash, somebody, Mad World, a vintage vaudeville there, style cover, uh, Peach, P Poodle, P Puddles, Pity, Party, and uh, Haley Reinhardt. And we yeah, kicked, she's awesome. Yeah. And for uh, Moose Girl, we kicked it off there. Masters of War, Pearl Jam, doing Masters yeah. of War on Letterman back ten years ago. That's a good song. Yeah, it's a good song. It's a good song. I, Dylan's song. I, I still prefer Dylan's versions of that. So right, but yeah. I mean, the lyrics still apply today. Oh, I absolutely. Mean, freaking seriously, lovely. listen to that song. You'll be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Seriously, sure. listen to the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so so many so many of those songs do they they definitely foresaw things or yeah they, I mean they they've, or they've the, lasted sixty fifty forty sixty fifty years you know and, what I mean and, and, the, and the basic uh, way of looking at things shit never changes um, right no it doesn't <laughs> I mean the only thing that's changed is their technology that they're using against us now <sighs> right you know their, their technology has improved they can track us better they can monitor us better right right you know they're in our faces people actually have alexa in their house i mean that's a spy device i mean it might give you the weather and shit but really they're monitoring that shit you know <laughs> what yeah, i mean they are. hell yeah they are yeah it's like why would you have that i mean but even me i have a smart tv which i hardly ever turn it on but it's still there you know, I really want to get rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. Like, I seriously, I've been wanting to, like, physically, like, not have a TV in this house. Well, you still got your, your you primary. We you, still got a computer. We still got a cell phone. Yeah, you still got your primary spy device, which is your cell right. phone. Right. They can still track me. Oh, I mean, yeah. I got a GPS in my car, you know? Yeah. 
I had a GPS in both of my vehicles. That was it came from the factory that way. Right. I mean, I've said this eleven years ago. At least eleven years ago, I when we first started doing freakers, I'm like, technology is awesome. But it just depends on whose hands it gets into and how it's used. If it's used against us, that's not a good thing. I mean, obviously, a defibrillator is good technology to have. Yeah. But, you know, you get you get this technology put in the wrong hands, and they're going to use it for nefarious reasons. Sure they are. You know, they could, not you know, which they are. Because they're using it to track our every fucking move. They want to do facial recognition shit. Well, um, I want to post a link from a video I watched today. All right. Anyway, on that, on that, on that topic. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Uh, this came out on Blacklisted News yesterday. Mm-hmm. Comcast turns their voice-activated remote into real-time tracking device. <laughs> so it says, uh, leave, of course. It to, uh, leave it to cable TV companies to turn voice activated remotes into smart speaker listening devices. Uh, build, build as a lost item finder to make you, ooh, give me that. Uh, cable TV right. company Comcast will allow customers, which <laughs> is going to be done whether you allow them or not, to use their Xfinity voice acted remotes, which luckily I don't have any voice acted anything. I don't have any Comcast equipment here, uh, although I, I have their cable. Um, uh, to turn her uh, voice activated remotes into find lost stuff like car keys and handbags. It says, with your tiles connected to the Xfinity Home app, which they give you like a little tracking tile to put on whatever, right. whatever you don't want to lose, uh, home, the Xfinity Home app, you can use your voice remote to ask where your stuff is. Just don't, just find your shit on your own. Anyway, yeah, wh- uh, a recent article in Flash Gear revealed Comcast has partnered with Tile to let customers use their voice active remote to track and locate missing objects. Uh, Tile uses Bluetooth to ping its location, reporting back to a paired smartphone, ding, ding, uh, that's in range, <laughs> uh, pairing your Tile account with your Comcast Xfinity X1 account, that that location data is shared after you simply press and hold the microphone button on the remote and uh, and for location. Anyway, don't do it. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't freaking do it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, this one, and you know, I know a lot of people say a lot of bad stuff about Elon Musk. And that yeah. they have bad things to say. But I, I got to say, man, he does some mm-hmm. shit that I really like. But what? He does some shit that I really like. Yeah, okay. New York Post. Uh, Elon Musk slams coronavirus lockdowns and says, free America now. So there it is. Uh, billionaire, tes- billionaire Tesla boss Elon Musk lashed out Wednesday at lockdowns meant to contain the coronavirus. No, it's meant to contain the people. Nothing to do with coronavirus. Yes. Meant yes. to contain the people in a series of early morning Twitter posts echoing calls from pro- protesters around the U.S. Free America Now, Musk tweeted at 2.15 a.m. The 48-year-old tech tycoon crowed Bravo Texas in an earlier post hailing the Lone Star State for moving to reopen restaurants and retail stores this week. His praise came a week after Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said the state should lift restrictions because there are more important things than living. Which there are. What? More, what? There, there are more important things than living, which means living. You're not living if you're all locked down in your houses. Right, true. So lift right. the restrictions. You'll want to be out there living. Musk also yes. Musk also shared a, uh, a Sunday op-ed in the Wall Street Journal arguing that severe shutdowns have not helped save many lives, if any. Give people right. give, yeah, give, people are still dying with all this shit, you know, and they're, they're create they're attributing all the deaths to Corona related, so we don't know the true number, right? Uh, and we don't know. It's very telling. They don't want you to know. 
Right. They want to make up a number and have you be afraid. Anyway, it says, uh, give people their freedom back, Musk wrote. Uh, Musk's missives. Right. Uh, Musk's missives followed protests in several states urging officials to lift lockdown measures that have forced businesses to close and put millions of workers on the unemployment rolls. And but, apparently he was smoking weed when he was talking about all this shit. Well, probably, but, you know, he's... he's a, he was. There was a, a thing today I saw He when he said all this shit, he was smoking ganja. Okay, good for him. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he was. So that tells you he's a pothead, okay? The the bad orange man recently voiced support for the largely conservative protesters by calling on officials to liberate Minnesota, Michigan, and Virginia. Right, uh, uh, fucking Ma- Minnesota or Wisconsin too. Yeah, well, he didn't mention them, but uh, yeah, he was a bad orange man. Right? <laughs> I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Musk has expressed skepticism about the corona for weeks even though it has sickened, right, more than 3.1 million people. Sure it has. And yeah. killed mm-hmm. more and killed more than 217,000 people worldwide. Right. According to Johns Hopkins, uh, as I said, they, yep. they, they are at the center of this mess. Um, oh, big time. They're right in the middle of it. Musk called Same the... Same with pa- the who. Same with, you know, yeah. Musk called the panic about the virus dumb in early March and later falsely claimed falsely claimed that, that children are essentially immune. That's not falsely claimed. That's true. Your numbers prove that. Even your fake numbers prove that Right to the disease. He also wrongly predicted last month the U.S. would probably see close to zero new cases. Well, uh, of course, they're, they're faking those numbers, so that's why there's not close to zero new cases by the end of April. Um, Anyway, so so it's a lot of propaganda, of course, from New York Post, another clap outlet. Um, right. I mean, yeah, all these events are getting canceled. Like Ben said, you know, they rescheduled a concert. It's already been canceled. The reschedule has been canceled now. It's like, you know, they're fucking, they don't want us having any fun, people. No, no concerts, no bars, no restaurants, you know. Um, this is This is tyranny. All right, and finally... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is tyranny. There's no question about it. And finally, we have an article from 2016, which I don't know why it was posted over there on Twitter like it was a brand new article, but it was. And it's from 2016. Woman arrested for defecating on boss's desk after winning the lottery. Oh my God! That's gross. What? Why is this even? Why are you even talking about that? Ah, I just thought it was hilarious. The, the 40, a, four, a forty-one-year-old woman who had the winning lottery ticket worth over three million dollars on Friday night, but showed up to work anyway on Monday to deliver one last package. <laughs> the, the courier company had no idea of her winnings. I knew something was wrong because I, oh, came, ick, I, ick. I came back from lunch and the door to my office was closed, said the manager. I slowly opened the door to discover Ew. the woman to discover the woman with her pants around her ankles, um, <laughs> hunched over my desk like a hippopotamus or a cheetah, ick. dropping a massive poo on my desk. Ew. <laughs> she shot her head towards me and locked eyes. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. All right, all right. I thought that's it was enough. funny. It's it, it's funny, but it's gross. It's it's. I would no. Who would that? That woman's like crazy. She's not nuts. Okay? Anyway, she, anyway, she got arrested for that, but she still had her. Yeah, three. I would hope so. She, that's she's, fucking gross. Yeah, she's, that's, just, she's still had her three million dollars. <laughs> what is wrong with her? All right, we got to do this last bit here. Like I'll stole him. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's the way to do it, lady. <laughs> Sorry, you're fucking nuts. Okay. All right. You're you're gross. Yeah. <laughs> you're rich, but you're gross. All right. So here we go. Yeah, the end. We'll, we'll, we'll be we'll be back right after these. All right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> black Betty. Christopher Amoroso there, the king of swamp music. Yeah, it was Black Betty. Uh, before that, we had the Hillbilly Moon Explosion. You digging that Rockabilly movie? Uh, My Love Forevermore. Oh, that also had a Sparky from Demented Ergo in there. 
So, uh, Dimension Arc is cool, man, too. Uh, if you, uh, ever get over there on the thing, man. Uh, that, 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 uh, that's, that's Christopher Amoroso, Hansel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a talented dude. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for us here tonight. Uh, I've had a good time. I hope you all had a good time. We talked about a lot of nastiness and craziness and lunacy going on out there in the world. It's just the shape of yes, things. We did. It's just the shape of things today. Um, it is. It's the way it is. You know, right now it's fucking crazy. It is. It is. Anyway, tomorrow I mean, you get you get yeah. the dark table at two p.m. Yep. Eastern with Flash and who knows who else. Who knows? Maybe you Granny. You never know who he's going to take as a hostage. Yep, yep, you never yep. know. I'll be on Sunday at my normal time, noon Eastern, with the yep. Blues, and we'll be playing the trivia here in the that chat. The Blues is all right. Yes, the Blues is awesome. And that'll be I'll be followed up by Hal Anthony behind yep. the woodshed opening up the big old... But all old... behind the woodshed, people. Yep. Sometimes you just got to go back there. Yeah, you go back there Sometimes and just... you just got to fucking do it. You know, we don't have a lot to all the time. But sometimes, sometimes, you gotta, just, you know, sometimes you gotta take people behind the woodshed. You gotta open a and, can of whoop ass. And whoop their ass. That's right. Yeah. It's a good day to whoop somebody's ass. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Have check, a good weekend, everyone. Check, Hang in there. Check the schedule on Real Real Media for all the rest of the shows. And yeah. um, I guess that's all. I guess that's it. Peace. Peace.